Our next speaker is Sue Bolton, women's rights activist from Social Alliance. Hopefully out of this coming election, I won't be a lone voice on council. There'll be more people like me who base their politics on community activism. We're standing candidates in every single ward in Moreland focused on community need not develop a greed. It should be your democratic right to be able to oppose a development that might be impinging on you. The only way you can win these issues is by organising the community and the community organising on their own behalf. This virus affects everybody regardless of your visa status. I keep going. <laughs> And I would be doing this even if I wasn't a councillor. I'd be involved in all of these campaigns and issues even if I wasn't a councillor because there are a massive number of injustices that need to be changed. And we've got a climate emergency and we need to have a system which is socially just and where people have rights and people have a democratic say. As a uni student, I got involved in the campaign against uranium mining in Queensland and the area I grew up, the entire Aboriginal community had been removed. In 1982 there were also two big events that shaped um, my politics as well. I worked in a factory and then I lost that job and got a job as a bus driver in Brisbane. There was a big industrial dispute and there's something magic when you see workers taking action for the first time in their lives. My role is taking those issues into the council and defending communities within the council. One of the things that I was involved in was the campaign for Moreland Council not to recognise the 26th of January as Australia Day. I'm really concerned about issues of public transport. We know that there are alternative construction methods. There's a need for council to campaign for better public transport. I'd also like to see much more democracy at a council level. And what would be really great is if we could get more than one of us elected so that we can have a council which is strong on climate issues, that's strong on democratic rights and residents' rights, that's strong on standing up to greedy developers, that's strong on social justice and looking after people who you know, don't have a lot of money coming out of the COVID crisis. There's going to be massive unemployment. It's criminal, the proposal, to just clear this part. Standing up for residents who don't have any social supports you know, we really need to stand up on all of those issues. So I'd really urge people, even if you've never voted in a council election before, to vote number one for the candidates in my team.